Hey everybody, it's AP, and today we're going to be doing some cool things in Fusion 360. Check it out. A few weeks ago I posted a video about upgrading my Vader helmet. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. I'll leave a link to it right uh, here. Here. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you subscribe here right there but seriously subscribe because you don't want to miss any of these videos they're great i mean ask anybody one of the upgrades i did was adding a clock into the helmet which required something to hold it now i'm very much a beginner when it comes to 3d printing and 3d design but i really want to learn more so i figure i teach myself and with the help of youtube and blogs and other things so i cracked open fusion 360 and gave it a go so check it out check out my process see what i did and who knows maybe you'll learn something too so we're in fusion 360 and i'm going to start laying out this clock holder uh, for my helmet so the first thing i'm going to do is obviously i have a new project and i want to create a sketch and i am going to pick this plane here and I'm going to go to create rectangle now I like center rectangle um, I think it's the easiest of the rectangles I've tried using two point and three point and I my brain just can't process how they actually work so the, so the center rectangles work just fine for me so I'm going to select center rect rectangle uh, I'm going to place my center point and I'm just gonna pull it out just a wee bit now I have my measurements. Uh, I use my calipers to get the measurements um, of the clock. And the clock is, the clock itself is 14, 14 millimeters tall, I believe. Yes, 14 millimeters tall by, by 41 millimeters wide but I also need to take into account the uh, thickness of the walls as well as some tapering I want to do to make it a compression fit as you slide this up into the into the I guess the clock top hat so I'm going to make this 16 mil uh, tall by 61.5 millimeters wide and I made it 61 millimeters uh, 61 and a half millimeters wide so I have uh, some tabs on the side to attach to the actual interior of the helmet so I have my measurements in I'm going to click return and then I'm going to select this and click I think it, yes E for extrude uh -huh. And I don't need this very thick. I think I'm going to do, I'm looking at my calipers. Yeah, I'm gonna just do one millimeter. So um, we're the, in the extrude dialog box. I'm going to do distance one millimeter. Uh, new body is fine. And I'm going to click okay. And actually while I'm in, so there, now I have my first sketch. Now, for my next piece, I'm going to, so now I need to extrude out the, the top hat portion of this, I think. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm going to click, right click, create sketch. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Why is it extruding? Click, right click, create sketch. There we go. I'm gonna zoom in just a wee bit. Uh, now I'm going to draw my top hat, so I'm going to use rectangle, rectangle, center rectangle again, because I just love me some center rectangles. And for these measurements, I'm going to go, again, 16 mil, uh, millimeters, uh, so it's the same height. But then for the width, I'm going to go 43 0.5. What that's going to do is it's going to give me one millimeter on each side of, uh, of buffer, uh, of uh, I guess thickness, for putting the clock in. So we're going to do that. 
enter. And then while I'm in this sketch, I'm going to click on it and click E for extrude. And now I need to get the measurement of the depth of the clock. So, and remember this has that straight output. So I'm just going to kind of fold it in a wee bit. I don't know why I say wee bit. It's a very Scottish thing, right? I used to have a Scottish neighbor. He was really cool. He moved away though. Uh, let's make this 22 millimeters. That should be plenty of space to accommodate this unfortunate thing. What did I say, 22? Let's say 21 and a half, 21.5 millimeters. And we're going to join these together. Oh, wait, why am I extruding again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we're here, we're here. We're doing the right thing. Okay, 21 and a half millimeters. We're joining this together. I'm clicking okay. And if I click my home view, look at that. We have a top hat <laughs> or a boa constrictor eating an elephant. Do you see it? Do you get it? Probably not. Maybe you do. I hope so. Little Prince reference, obscure Little Prince reference. Next thing I want to do now is like I said before, I want to uh, make this kind of like a compression fit. So what that means is as I hollow this out, it's going to be wide enough to accommodate loosely the clock through here. But then up here, I want it to be like a half a millimeter or even, even a full millimeter smaller so it pressure fits. Up into the um, up into the top here so then the clock just kind of stays stuck up there and I won't have to like glue it in or anything because I don't want to glue it in I want to be able to remove it if I have to because the clock also has these um, these buttons on here that let me adjust the time and uh, the settings so I want to be able to access those uh, relatively easily if I ever need to. So to do that, I'm actually going to, and I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to click on the bottom face and I'm going to go create sketch again. Create rec center rectangle. There has to be a shortcut to get to center, re center rectangle. So let's uh, click here. We're going to pull this out. We're going to do 14 millimeters and then um, we're going to do 41 and a half, which is the actual width of the, um, the actual width of the clock. So when I click enter now, you're going to see how I now have this border around. So this is going to be in essence, the thickness up here, the, the thickness wall thickness, so that's why I did 16 for the first sketch, and now 14 now that I'm making the hole. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna click extrude, excuse me. And for this, I'm actually going to be going up. Uh, so I'm gonna be removing junk from the top hat. So 15 in, operation is cut, click OK. And so now I have the first part of my cavity here. Now next, we're gonna go to the top. I'm gonna click on the top, create sketch, you know the drill now, create rectangle, center rectangle. And for this one, so now I'm going to do, so the first one was 14. Because I want that compression, I'm gonna go 13 point, oh, nope, not that. Uh, this one's gonna be 41 and a half. This one's gonna be 13.25. That should give me, so 
if I reduce this by three quarters of a millimeter, that should should give me some compression. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, if I make this 40.75 millimeters, I get a nice compression on all sides. We're figuring it out as we go along. All right. And then I'm going to click Finish Sketch. I'm going to click on that. Extrude. Now again, we're going to be removing from the top down. So I removed 15 before. So if I did seven millimeters, oh, I can see it. Look at that. Look at how helpful that is. Nine millimeters. I removed nine millimeters here. I'm going to cut and click OK. Ah, look at that. OK, OK, OK. Look. So we have this little lip here, which if I've done this correctly, was as I'm pushing this through the bottom up into the top, it should give me, it should be wide enough to give me just a little bit of compression on each side so it stays put inside the top hat. I'm feeling good about this. Okay, so, all right, next. Okay, we're humming along here, we're humming along. So next is, oh, okay. I want to add a little bit of a bevel to the top here, so I'm gonna click correct. Um, yeah, create sketch, create rectangle. Boom, we're going to 16 by 43.5 again. So it's almost like we're making a cap here. And then we're gonna click on it. Oh, what's going on here? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong, guys? Okay. 3.5, 16, and then, yeah. Oh. Can I do this? Is that, is that actually a thing? Am I doing this right? I just selected both. I don't know why I did that. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, cool. All right, so I'm gonna make this one millimeter, not one meter, one millimeter. 1.5 millimeters, one millimeter. And we're gonna join, I guess. Okay, all right, all right, yes, okay. So, all right, so I created my top now, or my cover, and so now I just need to kind of take out a window here so I can, I can, Fillet it out. Fill it, fillet. You'll know what I'm talking about in a second. All right, so I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to click on create sketch. I'm creating a rect center rectangle. We're going in now for here. I'm going to do 39 and a half, 12. So that gives me two mil around the whole thing. I'm going to click on this and extrude. And again, I am extruding down because I want a whole cut. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on this edge here. See how, see how that turned? Let's, can we uh, get a better view here? Yeah, okay. I'm clicking on the edge. Okay, so I clicked on the edge. See, it's turned blue. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do fill it. Fill it. Fillet, fillet. Fillet. 
actually, I'm going to click on, it looks like I can click on all of these. So I'm gonna click on three and four, and then right click, fill it. Four edges, I'm going to do a one millimeter. Mm, oh, no. Two millimeter. Two and a half millimeter. Ooh, that looks saucy. Okay, I like it. Do you guys like it? I like it, okay. And okay, so home. So now I have this cool little decorative edge here that won't cut my eyeballs out. Uh, as you can see from the bottom, we've made it uh, narrower at the top so I can compression fit it in. I think the last piece here is I need a hole. Ooh, what's going on? I need a hole to run my, my cables through, right? See that? Run my cables through that. So, uh, so I'm just going to again click on the face, click create sketch. Ooh, a slot, center to center. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that need to be big. And then extrude. We're gonna cut. I have a hole. Okay. I feel good about this. So now we're just going to send this to the 3D printer. And let's open this up in Prusa Slicer. So I use Prusa Slicer uh, because I have a Prusa Mark two and a half. Um, I have tinkered with Cura and couple others and I just I, I find this one to be the most user-friendly uh, you may disagree I know slicers are um, people just love their slicers you know so let's go to uh, but I love my Prusa slicer so where did I put this three print there we go clock holder clock holder and I'm going to adjust this to the bed um, I don't, how's that look? It looks good. I'm just going to do 10% uh, infill. I'm not going to use any supports. I think I can live with this without supporting it at all. Plus, since it's on the inside of my mask, no one's going to really see it. So if there are some imperfections, that's a-okay. Let's slice it. Ah, 41 minutes and 45 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to do this in PLA. Yeah, I have PLA loaded. All right, so we're going to export the G-code. All right. Let's print it out. <laughs> So here it is in all its glory. It's pretty basic, it's straightforward, it does its job. It holds the clock the way I need it to be held. So hopefully you learned something today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you saw something that I did that you wouldn't have done, um, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always wanting to broaden my horizons and get better. Um, if this video helped you in any way in breaking into Fusion 360, let me know that too. I'm here to help you, you're here to help me, right? We're here for each other. One big happy internet family, right? Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. You want to be a cool kid, right? Well, cool kids, subscribe to my channel. That's right. You're going to be in great company if you subscribe to my channel today. You'll be in the company of awesome people like my fellow space cadet, Ed Wachowski, or my fellow 501st Troopers, Stephen Fiddler, or Eddie Armenteros, or James Hannon, who, by the way, has an excellent book out right now called Anatomy of a Cosplayer. You should go check it out on Amazon. Tell them AP sent you. Thanks, everyone. And until next time, stop planning and start making or designing.